afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. born in Sulawesi, the same place with uh, some of you in here. But now I work in Obelo, <laughs> this very remote area. <laughs> and today I will explain about Medan Tourism Academy. Medan Tourism Academy is one of the one of the state campus with focus on tourism. And today I will uh, especially talking about tourism planning and marketing study program. Medan Tourism Academy has two departments. One is hospitality department, and the second one is tourism department. Tourism planning and marketing study program is one of the six study program in Medan Tourism Academy. North Sumatra is the most famous place is in, in Indonesia uh, to visit. It attracts many, many of tourists, tourists, tourists. So the institution has a mission statement to prepare students to be skilled workers in the tourism industry. Student population in this institution is 90 students, and they are come from high school and vocational high school. Their ages is between are between 18 to 24, and more, all of them are full time. The history of this institution, especially for tourism planning and marketing study program was established in 2007 with three lecturers and in 2010 they changed their curriculum for the first time and in 2011 they have very first graduation it means then it means that this year will be the second graduate. And now in this year, they have a new building with um, new practical room and it has uh, sophisticated equipment because from this um, practical room, they can make um, master plan, especially for tourism. And staff, the roles and responsibilities of staff. Now they have seven main lecturers and their duty is preparing the lesson for teaching and also conduct research and do community service. All this duty is to enrich the lesson in class and also to get a new idea. And for especially for community service, they will empowering the community. This um, study program also has one 
administration staff, and he is um, responsible for provide data and administration uh, tasks. And also they have one instructor, is conduct uh, practical classes, especially um, in Friday, on Friday, and twice a month. Some differences between Padamara Polytechnic and Medan Tourism Academy is Padamara Polytechnic focus on environment and Medan Tourism Academy focus on tourism. The second one is uh, all students in Padamara Polytechnic are full-time and part-time and all students in Medan Tourism Academy are full-time. The third is uh, Padamara Polytechnic is a private school, but Medan Tourism Academy is a state school. In Padamara Polytechnic, we have no certification body, but in Medan Tourism Academy, they have certification body. Um, but we still have something similar. That is, both of campuses has local, regional, and international collaboration. For example, in my institution, we have a tight collaboration with uh, Goldman Open Institute of TAFE in Australia. And every year we send 20 uh, students to go to Australia for uh, training. And for the Medan Tourism Academy, they also have uh, international collaboration with Malaysia, Thailand, and Singapore. Both of us have a low institution. No, low in low vision, okay? um, because we have uh, support from local government and the uh, Medan Tourism Academy has subsidy from central government. And both of us, uh, we have accredited state from the National Board Accreditation and because both of our campus focus on skill, so we have uh, practical 50% and theory 50%. Next, um, from this research, uh, something that we can um, build in our campus is create job certification body, especially for help uh, our graduates, graduate student to easily get their job. And the second one is establish um, lecturer certification body. Also this uh, certification can help teacher to prosper. And the last one is uh, conduct zero unemployment program. And I will thank you very much for um, thank you, my Sarah, for all information that she gave me to finish this task, and also for Tambunan because I get more information also from her blog spot. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please.